connecting to a server computer running ICOM remote from a client computer. Hello, this is Jeff, W6FCC. You know, I can create this problem I think you're describing with the can't connect to the COM port. So here I have RSBA1 here, and I come up here and I set it all up. There's a radio to connect to, and all this stuff looks wonderful. So I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to hit uh, connect. And immediately I get cannot open COM port. I think this is what you're talking about. So you got to shut this down. And you need to look at the settings you have on the remote. Now, if you don't have the server connected, then it's unlikely that you have a radio that you can connect to. So let me just change this. I'm going to connect to the server, right click and connect. Now I'm connected to the uh, Richard server in New York. Then I go over here and I say, let me pick uh, the dipole, which I think is what I'm trying to connect to here. Yeah, the dipole. So I uh, connect to it. Virtual serial port is uh, set to number eight. And so you have the server connected, you have the radio connected, and then this is connected to the appropriate one COM port 8, as you saw over here. COM port 8. 7D is the CIV address. The name of the radio is correct. The connection type is correct. The radio type is connect correct. So at this point, you connect. Takes a little longer, because let's turn the radio on. And it would appear that we're connected down here to uh, 40 meters, which is pretty terrible, I guess. Yeah, it's not a lot. But uh, that'll cause the problem that you're seeing, is if you're not really connected to anything. So let me uh, shut this off. Again, when you shut off that, you should still remain connected here. You do need to disconnect the radio. Yes, disconnect. And you get different errors if you try to, while this is disconnected, yet the uh, server is connected. Let's see what happens now. You bring up RSBA1. Same radio. But you forgot to connect to it. Let's see what this does. Connect, blinking lights, not a lot going on, and you'll finally get a failure here before long. Cannot access the radio, which is to be expected because it's not connected. Again, disconnect that, Go back over here, now connect to the radio you want to use right click and connect. It sets the uh, serial port to 8, which you expect. Connect, there's the 8, and we're back on when you connect. So is that the uh, is that the COM port you're talking about? It says it can't connect to the COM port. Alright, W6FCC. The first failure was caused by no connection between the client and the server over the internet or over the LAN so there was nothing to connect to. The second one was okay we were connected between the two host computers the client and the host were both or client and server were both connected but there was no radio so it took a little longer to figure out okay I'm talking to the server but I can't get to the radio that's connected to the server so there's multiple connections that have to be made here to get this to work and once you figure that out, it works great.